Hi, my name is Charles Kelly, and welcome to The Lance for Life. I'm sitting here at East Square Scars in Wilmington, Delaware, with John Rivera uh, from Esteban Carreras Cigars. How you doing, John? I'm doing well, sir. How are you? Very good, very good. Now we are smoking the new Esteban Carrera Brownstone. Tell me what's different in this blend that was just released at IPCPR. I got it right again. Right. That's that's two for two today. Uh, <laughs> What's different in this blend from the original Brownstone, which I smoked my first one uh, about a month ago? Well, the original Brownstone is a Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro mm -hmm. with a Habano binder and a Nicaraguan filler. Mm -hmm. So it's a combination of, of, of tobaccos that is not common in this one. Um, the Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro is going to bring that that particular cigar and the Lee Harrow that's in that cigar is going to bring it up more towards the full. Not okay. quite all the way full, but leaning up against the full. Okay. Whereas the new blend is a Nicaraguan puro. Okay. It's all Nicaraguan. It's, it has a um, Habano wrap mm -hmm. with a Jalapa mm -hmm. and a Jalapa Condega filler. Mm -hmm. So with the Jalapa Condega filler, you're going to get a lot of flavor from that particular mm -hmm. filler. I'm getting it. Um, and the Nicaraguan puro. Um, but it's not an overwhelming Cigar. I find this to be a medium, maybe medium plus, mm -hmm. with a great, with a great aroma. It smokes great. It's got a great draw mm -hmm. and just a good flavor overall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the difference is probably going to be more in the in in the in the strength and the body strength of mm -hmm. the cigar, whereas that Maduro is definitely going to be a little bit fuller. Yeah, it's creamy, uh, as Omar described it. I expected it to be more earthy, but it's not. It's more cocoa yeah. than it is earthy, which is good. Not getting the pepper. It's got a, for me, like a perfect retrohale. Any more than this, my eyes will start you popping started, out of my head. Yeah. yeah, I'll start tearing and welling up. You see that burn line. It's a beautiful burn line. Good, tight ash. This is a well-constructed cigar. Well, um, the gentleman that runs our, our factory, we have our own factory, unlike a lot of boutiques mm. out there. Mm -hmm. So we have our own factory in Esteli. Um, the gentleman who runs our factory is a, a gentleman by the name of Gonzalo Puente. Mm -hmm. uh, Gonzalo was at one time over all the Cohiba factories in, in, in Cuba. Oh, okay. Um, he was also at one time over all the tobacco in Cuba. Uh, when, he left, um, when he left Cuba, he went to Esteli and he ran the Perdomo factory. Um, was with Perdomo for many years and decided he wanted to run uh, a much smaller factory and not have as much. He's an older gentleman. Okay. Um, and so he's come to work for us and uh, he's, done, he's done an amazing job. This is, this is good, good stuff. What other uh, lines did you release at IPCPR? We are a, a very conservative boutique. Okay. Um, though we're one of the bigger boutiques, um, we are... Uh, we are very conservative in what we put out. We only put out one cigar. This, one, this year? Yeah. Okay. The only thing um, extra that we did we, we did, we did this particular cigar in four sizes. We did this in a 6x60. Six mm -hmm. We did it in a Cuban Churchill, a 7x49. Okay. Um, we did it in a Toro, uh, 6x52. And we did it in something that we're calling a bullet. The bullet is a 4 and 3 quarter by 46. So it's a nice little, it comes in a 32 count box. Just a nice, quick. 45 minutes to an hour so okay. in a smaller engage. Personally, I, I, I prefer smaller engages. Okay. So, no, I do too. It's like smoking PVC pipe when you get those 60 and 64 gauge cigars. I'm not a fan. I'll smoke them on occasion and I'll smoke them to review. But it's just not my preferred size. I understand. Because, I mean, most of your flavor is going to come from the wrap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it, when, when you get a, a, a thicker ring gauge, you're getting more filler. Right. And although the filler will give you a lot of flavor, mm -hmm. you want that wrap. That wrap is what's really going to set it off. Mm -hmm. And this was interesting using the Jalapa binder and when the Jalapa can make a filler because that's just giving you a whole lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. And with the wrap, it was, very, it was wonderful. Um, we obviously don't have our own farms. We don't grow our own tobacco. Um, Gonzalo is very astute at, at purchasing tobacco from over the top 
uh, growers in, in, in Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. um, we get most of our uh, tobacco from Nicaragua, mm. um, and we also get a lot of tobacco from Vicencia. Oh, well. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're the major they're players. They're the major players down here. Yeah. So that's where we, we purchase most of our, and, um, and, and with all the years of experience, he just was great flavor. Mm -hmm. Some power. I mean, we do have some, I mean, the Chupacabra, Maduro, will give you some power. The Habano, the 13-year Habano, will give you power. Mm -hmm. um, but he's not looking for that. He's very Cuban-esque in the way he... he, he I dig that. And, and, and talking to some of the other manufacturers, there seems to be this push for power because people feel like if they're not getting power, they're not getting the bang for their buck. But what I like is complexity, and this cigar is absolutely complex. Absolutely. Uh, I like good flavor, and I want a unique flavor profile, and this has that. I haven't smoked anything like it, and I'm loving it. Yeah, me too. All right. Uh, the Esteban Carrera, the new brownstone. Thanks for joining. Peace out. How was that? Piece of hands, man. Like that? Yeah, yeah, man. Man, you got me showing on there. Come on, Sean. You all dressed up.